it would be responsible for me to declare that General Ogola was killed when I have not done an investigation and conclusively determined that he was killed. Okay. But his death is shrouded in mystery. And a lot of people like me do not want the rush and the muzzling tendencies that we saw at the funeral and surrounding his burial. His children spoke a, a bunch of rubbish. That boy does not know what he was talking about. Joel, his son. Complete rubbish. You know? You cannot say, and this one speaking even as a Luo, you cannot say there is any Luo man who says, bury me within 72 hours, bury me naked, don't eat at my funeral. What rubbish is that? Where was this boy raised? Hmm. He has no authority to speak about the burial of his father, traditionally. He should have kept quiet and gone back to Nairobi. Yeah. And there is no way that as a son you can rule your father's death as accidental. Was he there? Let this thing be investigated professionally. I don't like the fact that the military are investigating it. Because what if he was killed by a fellow military man? What if his deputy killed him? What if other military people killed him? What if the thugs killed him and the military want to cover it? All these questions, there should be no question that cannot be asked. We need to ask all the questions. And they all need answers. And they all need answers. That are verifiable. Correct. So there is absolutely no issue. I cannot say to anybody, even my enemy, that they die under the circumstances that General Ogola died and that nobody should ask questions. This silly thing that, oh, asking questions will not bring him back to life. What nonsense is that? It will prevent another death if it was caused. Do you understand? Or if it was negligence, we would be able to prevent another negligent death. Why not? Sure. A human being is not a dog. They cannot die just like that. And generals do not just fall from the air. That's also true. So we have to ask about all these questions because a CDF is secured just like a president. Where was the evacuation team? Where was the evacuation strategy? Where was the rescue strategy? Where were the escort planes or helicopters? Do you understand my point? So why should we not ask them? If, in fact, as people are speculating, the plane or the helicopter was changed in the morning, who did? Ultimately, who gained out of the death? Emotive. Very important. Emotive. President, Mo uh, President uh, Ruto did not gain. Because it is him some people are accusing. So he didn't gain. Right? But somebody did. Who is it? There you have it from the general himself. This is Legrand from Simple Generations.